Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Sharon Milgram, the Director of the Office of Intramural Training and Education. And of course, uh, Dr. Francis Collins needs no introduction, but uh, I'm joined with uh, Dr. Collins today, the NIH Director. And we're here to spend a moment reflecting on National Postdoc Appreciation Week. As you all know, this is the first virtual National Postdoc Appreciation Week, which in some ways um, we miss out on that opportunity to be together and support each other on our campuses. But in another way, we get to be here all together, albeit virtually, to acknowledge just the vast, broad network of postdocs who support the biomedical research enterprise. And so I just wanted to give Dr. Collins a moment to reflect on his views of postdocs uh, and their role in this enterprise. Francis, thank you for joining us. Oh, Sharon, thank you for inviting me to join you because this is something I really want to be part of because I am an enormous supporter and enthusiastic admirer of postdocs and their contribution to biomedical research at this really significant moment where so many discoveries are happening and applications are happening. Admittedly, slowed down a bit this year because of COVID-19, which has caused all of us to do things we never dreamed we would be doing in 2020, like me here talking to you from my home office, which is pretty much where I've been living for the last six months. At the same time, uh, really every week ought to be postdoc appreciation week because we would not be seeing the remarkable advances from basic science through translation to clinical efforts, uh, educational efforts, uh, all the things that postdocs do uh, couldn't happen without this dedicated, hardworking team of visionaries. And that's what postdocs are. We at NIH admire you, appreciate you, and have even tried to do some things to help a bit in terms of your compensation lately, which we recognize a few years ago was getting a little pathetic. And I wish it was even better, but I think we've bumped a bit. But we also know this is a tough year for you, and we've tried to do everything we can in terms of ways in which we support postdocs to provide flexibility for delays and grant applications, uh, for extensions of various limits, for extensions of eligibility for people who are trying to go to that next step. And we want to hear from you if there's something because of COVID-19 that's gotten in the way of your particular dream. We really want to try to do everything we can to adjust what otherwise might seem like inflexibilities in order to nurture and encourage your careers. Let me just say, though, I do know this has been a tough time for everybody. And I hope all of you, um, many of you uh, sequestered there at home because it's the safe place to be, or maybe coming to the lab, but in a circumstance that's a little unusual, like in my lab right now, where people are working in shifts so that we don't have too much crowding and staying at least six feet away and wearing masks all the time. This is a lot of stress to put on a system that frankly has its own stresses in terms of the intensity of doing research. So I hope all of you in the midst of all this uh, will both be able to stand back a little bit from this and reflect on this as a historic moment. And it's something you will tell your children and grandchildren about what you did in 2020. Everybody will wanna know. But it also is an opportunity to take care of yourself and to be sure that you're having an opportunity uh, to rest and reflect. And if you're having a really significant area of stress, there are lots of resources available to you. I just would not want you to feel like uh, there's more than you can handle at any given moment. We know that this has been a tough year. And we want to be your assistants, your supporters, your admirers. And if necessary, I'll find those resources for you. Sharon is the master of knowing how to get those resources together. I'm so fortunate that she is on our team here and she has done a lot to try to be sure everybody knows where to get that support when they need it. But mostly I just wanted to say it is a tough year, but you all are champions. We are going to get through this, people. <laughs> those vaccines are coming and they're looking pretty good. I don't wanna make any real promises right now because we still have a few steps to do, but I do believe that we will eventually get to the point, and it won't be too darn many more months, where COVID-19 starts to slip into the rearview mirror, and we can get back into doing what I know you all do extremely well, which is great science. And we at NIH will support you all through that. We'll support you now, and we'll support you then. So congratulations, postdocs, for all you have done and will do, and hooray for Postdoc Appreciation Week. Thank you so much. 
Um, and I'll just close by um, encouraging postdocs across the US and grad students and postbacs who might be watching this that the OITE fall calendar, which is again a national calendar, we're inviting you to all of our activities, will be out uh, actually this week, maybe even um, a slightly earlier, and we welcome you to events at NIH. And we look forward to the day when we actually welcome you in person. Oh. And thank you very much, Dr. Collins. Uh, thank you all to all the directors of postdoc offices and graduate student support offices, to all the PIs who support postdoctoral training, who are working hard to welcome uh, trainees from very diverse backgrounds. Thank you all very, very much. Be well and take care. Yes.